there. It's time once again for your Me Minute. My name is Reggie Robinson and I'm with the Rise and Thrive Campus Community Partnership here at RIO. Rise and Thrive is a collaboration to support students and promote mental health and wellness across Ohio's college and university campuses. Today's topic is the RAP, W-R-A-P, the Wellness Recovery Action Plan. The Wellness Recovery Action Plan, or RAP, was originally developed by Mary Ellen Copeland and a group of mental health service users who wanted to work on their own recovery. This is what they found worked for them and what helped them recover from their mental health difficulties. The Wellness Recovery Action Plan is a framework with which you can develop an effective approach to managing distressing symptoms and you can also gain insight into your personal patterns of behavior. It's a tool to help you gain more control over your problems. Developing your own RAP will take time. It can be done alone, but many find it very valuable to have a supporter. They choose people they trust and work on it together. Over time, the RAP can become a useful tool that you can use as a reminder and guide to maintain wellness and something you can turn to in times of difficulty. It's a practical tool to support you. It's designed to encourage continued learning about yourself, such as knowing what helps and what doesn't, and how to gradually gain more control of your life and deal with difficult experiences. It can also include a crisis plan, which is a way of guiding others on how best to make decisions for you and take care of you for those times when your problems and symptoms might make it very tough for you to do this for yourself. Once you've started your own RAP, you can do continue developing it and changing it as you gain more information about yourself. The RAP belongs to you and it's unique to you. You can decide how to use it and who to show it to. You decide who you would like to be involved or help you write it. You decide how much time you spend on it and when to do it. It's your own personal guide to support your own wellness and recovery. Your Wellness Recovery Action Plan should include such things as your personal contact details and the contact information for your physician and counselor if applicable. It can include a wellness toolbox that helps you identify reminders and resources that assist in promoting your personal wellness. Other components include a daily maintenance plan, a list of triggers and an action plan for each, a crisis plan, the names and contact information of supporters, and a post-crisis plan. For more details and to start on your own Wellness Recovery Action Plan, go to www.wellnessrecoveryactionplan.com and join the global RAP community. It's a free and incredible resource. Well, that's our Me Minute for today. Remember that just for watching these short segments, you can be entered into a drawing for a grand prize at the end of our series, so please make sure you catch them all. We'd also like to remind you that you can access a whole array of student wellness services here on the Rio campus. Just consult the University of Rio Grande website under Student Services. As always, we invite your feedback and suggestions for future topics. Please contact us using the information on the screen. See you next time on Me Minute.